Yo, what's up? Welcome back to My Plus One with Vinny Fastline. And Tony Sarandos. Hell yeah. This is a podcast, if you have not heard, where we bring on a celebrity guest and they bring somebody close to them, somebody they're comfortable <laughs> with, somebody they love. Uh, it could be a family member, a friend, a brother, a sister, mom, a blind date. Today, <laughs> we, uh, we, we got we, Johnny Lowe, everybody. Yeah, John Owen Lowe, the one and only. <laughs> Johnny, thanks for coming on, buddy. Yeah, I think that's you. the first time I've ever been described as a celebrity. Yeah, yeah, dude. You're a celebrity in that. my eyes. <laughs> big fan, big okay. fan. The bar's low here now. <laughs> my girlfriend loved you on Andy Cohen. Thank you. That's, I'll who, take that. Who's, who's your friend you brought today? This is my friend... I'm not sure she falls under any of the categories <laughs> described. What? She did you say friend or like yeah, what did yeah, you say? Friend? Oh, okay, friend. Great. friend. Yeah, I didn't Co-worker, hear that. One. Close friend. Anybody, no, here's, 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 <laughs> let me do it. Ready? I got this. Yeah. Close friend. Yeah. Um, coworker, and then let me go in a little bit. Yep. Esteemed colleague, artist. Ooh. Uh, entrepreneur. I'm not sure about that one. I'm just saying it. Um, it's applicable. Right. He's making stuff one up now. One of the now. funniest people I've ever met. Wow. Very talented oh, yeah. and um, made my life on the show so much better. Wow. Congrats. What an intro, man. What the what, heck? You're going to say her name? Or? No, she was going to do it. I thought she was going to go. And now it's Rachel Marsh. Yeah. He's like, uh, fuck that. Yeah, what's your name again? <laughs> Hi, Checking Rachel. Text. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. Oh, man, awesome. Very cool. I'm Thanks, glad you Johnny. came on board. So okay. you're on a Netflix show t- together, uh, this un- called Unstable, I guess, you, with your dad as well, Rob Lowe? We are. I, I, so I co-created the show um, and, and wrote it, and it's loosely based on my life and relationship with my dad. Uh, and Rachel plays... She's a series regular, very important character. Also, uh, my kind of love interest. Um, maybe. Maybe. We'll see. Wow. No spoilers. Foreshadowing. Oh, shit. Well, you have to watch you know, the show. You got to yeah. watch the, just watch the show. <laughs> love interest. So tired. Oh, my God, just watch dude. Just watch Are we getting a firsthand look here at this love interest going on? You guys are well, sitting I mean, so far apart. She's married. <laughs> Um, I am married. Yeah. Married. Oh, you are? Yeah, yeah, in real life. Yeah. And her <laughs> husband is is a, a, a very kind, very handsome, very talented musician. Yes. Who yeah. is a scores? What does he score? Yeah, I, he's a, he scores like kids animation. Oh, oh yeah, cool. yeah, he's working yeah. on an Apple show right now. He's yeah, he mostly did like kids content. He works on Sesame Street. Wow, it's cool. Fun stuff. The hits, Amazing. all the hits, yeah. the kids hits. We stand. Rachel's husband. Yes. Careful. Hell yeah. Is Careful. he buff? So for your love scenes, is he buff? Is he going to be off on the side just like this staring at you? I think that <laughs> no. we don't have to worry about that right now, fortunately. Um, or do we? Watch the show. Watch the show. Watch the show. Love it. No spoilers. That's awesome. No spoilers so you guys only known each other for as long as the show's been going on or did you know each other before? That's it. We met. Yeah. I mean, it's been a, a, a longish pro. I mean, I don't know. It's all relative, but I met her a, a, a year ago, a year ago, a year ago. And um, in our chem read, in mm, our chemistry, yeah. read. Our chemistry read. I was just going to ask the yeah. minute she, <laughs> uh, chem read for, well, we watched your tape and <clears throat> we loved her. Right. And then, uh, did our chemistry read and I remember like it was this way with most I'm not trying to diminish our love for you but it was this way with most of the people we hired but but Rachel's was definitely special where it was like as soon as we got off the chemistry read we all said to each other like please let us be able to cast that girl like and and she you had uh sort of like a conflicting potential job and then it was like a toss-up if she was gonna do our show (laughs) and we were so happy when she said yes wow nice you, you were actually his fourth choice for the podcast. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I knew it. No, um, that's true. <laughs> just kidding. And, okay. and are, are you like a regular actress? Have you acted prior to this project? I mean, and, I have, but the Unstable is definitely my biggest job so far. Cool. Congrats! Yeah, yeah congrats. thank really you. Awesome. Yeah, I've, I've been acting for six years and and guested on different shows and mostly comedies. But um, yeah, it, it's been my dream to be on like a workplace sitcom and. Um, Everyone involved in the cast is seriously so talented, and and obviously Rob being the star of it, I was so lucky. Well, to work with him. Yeah, <laughs> wait, I mean, wait, you, see, yeah. I, 
and Johnny. Not for and you. Johnny. I mean, obviously Johnny and Fred Star. and Sean and Emma <laughs> and Aaron. And it's such a great cast. You really should watch it. Yeah. yeah watch the show. Watch the show. I, I binged it in two days, Vinny. One. Man. Oh. I Did you really? S- yeah. I, I ran into your I dad uh, at some point in the week. And I, were, I just congratulated on him coming out, on it coming out. And he uh, he's like, have you watched it yet? I said, no. My dad yeah. came out? Well, apparently, yeah. Who would have thought? <laughs> uh, and uh, I'm like, I'll, I'll watch it in the next two days and give you my review. And I love that. Yeah. I, um, I had nothing better to do, so uh-oh. I watched it. And it was great. I loved it. What's your review? Yeah. Um, it was actually one of the worst shows I've ever seen. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's the sound bite we use. No, no. <laughs> I, I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I'm a big fan of workplace sitcoms, so it was like right up my alley. I love yeah. it. Hell yeah. I'm going to watch it as soon as I leave here. <laughs> Please do. I promise. You know what? I'll... I'll pitch it short i'll keep it short but what i love about our show is there is a void i feel like in the television space right now in the media space in general of like just something that's lighthearted and an easy watch and binge and you can just put on like in any mood and it can it reminds me of that my favorite era of of like network comedy tvs when on thursday night it was like parks into the office into 30 rock it's very similar sort of like tonally you know there's like emotions but for the most part it's just like upbeat fast comedy that's awesome yeah yeah i mean the comedy world's changed right like sitcoms aren't what they used to be but you make a good one now they're really they really you know make a staple i just they just don't make them like they used to it seems like there's like a the spectrum has gotten like there's there's not a lot of in between now there's you either have like just you know very very broad sitcoms and there's nothing wrong with that but like you know the like um chuck lorry ask you know massive hits but but like sort of um what's the word i'm looking for like uh it's almost like an algorithm is churning them out they're very similar and they all they're all you know they i don't want to say anything bad about them because i think that there's nothing more difficult than to execute that and i and i think like those people are so talented that write on it and 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 do it well but there's that right and then there's quote-unquote comedy and and i say that with the utmost respect because these are the shows that i watch that i'm obsessed with which are like these dark comedies they're not even comedies like barry like succession yeah like, um mm-hmm. I love that you think uh, Succession's a comedy. It's, <laughs> no, it's it's it, the show is considered a comedy. In, is it? The, and yes. Wow. It, when, when they submitted it initially for awards, it was submitted as a comedy. Wow. That's that's a self-proclaimed comedy. I think they may have shifted since, but yeah. I don't. It's not. I, by the way, I laugh in moments, but like, yeah. and I won't spoil it. But like, the most recent episode is yeah. profound. It's a play. Oh, it's, crazy. it's not like I'm like well, you know, you gotta. I'm not. You can't pull your phone out once you can't like look away from the screen uh-huh. you can't even go get like a water and that's a certain type of viewing experience and that's just not what i'm totally used to with a quote-unquote comedy yeah well I, i'm into the dark com- that barry barry's great mm. i just yeah they're great i'm into dark comedy but that's just because i'm dead inside well it sounds you know <laughs> so am i and and sometimes it's nice for those of us that are dead inside to just turn on a little like soul food TV, you know, you guys got to relate to something. Yeah. 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 Like unstable, like unstable. Watch the show. Watch Watch the show. (laughs) 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 So many voices in my head. (laughs) 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 Um, Johnny. So you're, you wrote the show as well, right? Mm -hmm. Oh wow. So how was transitioning from writing on like nine one one Lone Star, which is, you know, a bit more of a serious show yeah. compared to unstable, you know? With, yeah. I uh, would say, uh, first of all, like my, I loved my experience at Lone Star. My, I learned so much there. That was my first official sort of staffing job and writing job. And, and I, you know, worked my way up over the couple years I was there and, and, uh, that my shout out to my bosses are the best. They taught me so much. And, it's a completely different beast. I mean, first of all, it's it's network TV. That's that's always going to be different. You're doing twice as many episodes, if not more, with you know, generally bigger set pieces, and and um, it's just far more chaotic. And um, I, what's specifically very different about these two shows is you know, Lone Star is a procedural, so it's got a literal um, 
formula, which is, you know, three cases, an episode, a, a theme for each episode and, you know, a, a, an A story character arc and then a B story character arc. Sometimes there's a C story. And so it's like you have to plug data into this formula and also serialize it. So it's very, very like, it, it, it's a little more meticulous. Whereas comedy, especially like free form comedy, even though ours is a sitcom, it's, it's very like, it's a blend. It's still a network comedy. It's very like kooky and out there and, and, and not quite as serialized. And so I find that experience in a writer's room to be more, uh, joyful. It's not that it's like a better relatively experience. I just find like, you know, laughter is where I feel the best. And so yeah. you're just like laughing all day in the unstable room versus, yeah. you know, Lone Star, you're, it's equally as riveting. You're, you're like, it's just, you know, darker it's like how do we you know how did this baby fly out of the car and get into the tree and and how are we getting it down and, and you know it's hilarious which is obviously so <laughs> dark comedy oh, dead babies. <laughs> yeah. yeah the baby's very dead. light the comedy baby's never dead guys. the baby's never dead just uh, hanging on by a branch in the uh, car seat you know? yeah no yeah. the 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 twist reveal is like the baby's not dead but then you like swing the camera and it's like and the dad's even higher in the tree oh. <laughs> <laughs> tune in next funny. week <laughs> <laughs> and the dad's dead as fuck to be clear yeah. <laughs> alright somebody had to die for it to be yes. yeah. for it to be a light comedy <laughs> so we Ra- find out he was a bad dad yeah <laughs> and Rachel you play uh, the you play what's your character's name on the show her name is Luna she's um she's a scientist her and Ruby are the two scientists in the red lab nice scientist yeah. Do you have any science background? No, no, I don't. But there was a in, an onset scientist. Did you meet her? Yeah, Alyssa? I I went to her. Did you lab, hire her? I believe. Did I hire her? <laughs> that sounds so official. Yeah. Uh, I just assume you hire everyone. I mean, I have a say in most of the hirings. Yeah. Yes. Um, yeah, I mean, we needed a consultant to just to make the the lab look legitimate and to make sure, you know, when there was science jargon in the show that it wasn't, we didn't sound stupid. But yeah, 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 that's cool. So you got like a science teacher on deck. Yeah, yeah, she's, she's, a, she's a scientist. She's a, yeah, Whoa. she works in like a biotech lab. Like that's her wow. job. Holy shit. Yeah, I have a petri dish. I'd like you to look at after we get out of here, if you don't mind. I could. That's like one of two things I learned is the peach tree, like how to like load the slides and then oh. how to like pipette things into other things. Oh, wow. Um, it's already above my pay grade. I do, yeah, like really. that, I do like that you called it a peach tree though. <laughs> peach tree. <laughs> what is it called? Peach tree. See, you could have you, you said that. You could have said that and I would have believed you. Like, yeah. I, I, have, I Okay, look, now I got to yeah. just. Oh, Johnny. I'll humble wait, flex. No, wait, Johnny yeah. does have a science a background. Bit. I have a science background. Oh, you do? I do. Did you go to like school I for know. science background? Like, I studied, well, I studied science science technology at in college but i uh worked in a stem cell biology research lab for four summers when i was in high school as like an intern and then i you know had an official position for the last two years and i worked with a lot of culturing of stem cells and petri dishes Whoa. So please pronounce okay. that name right petri. damn shit that's Peach impressive tree. <laughs> you, what's the weirdest like thing you've tree. seen i can't say really yeah <laughs> Confidentiality, confidential oh, shit. stuff, man. No, I mean he's look, whipping up I'm, COVID I'm, in the lab. I'm half kidding. I w- <laughs> <laughs> don't joke. Like the SWAT team, like breaks yeah. into the windows. Um, uh, yeah. mm, nothing. We- it's not weird, but it's like it's really cool. Like cutting it. You know, there was we we focused on um like it was like regenerative cancer research for like stem cells in mice. So like you mm. harvest stem cells from their olfactory bulbs and test various you know like. Yeah. things like neurons and you know proteins and this stuff affects this thing and this thing affects this thing and what if i tried this it's it's like the kind of stuff where it's so fascinating and then you talk to the people who really know what they're doing this guy dan lim who was the doctor who ran the facility and i'd be like so like what's the like layman's way you would describe like what's the most practical thing you're working towards and when is it coming and he's like we are looking to treat cancer not necessarily cure it but treat cancer i'm like incredible and, and he's like it yeah, probably you know within like 50 to 80 years and you're just <gasps> like that wow. is incredible when you wow. think about it relatively but then yeah. like i was like you know 16 or 17 and i'm thinking to myself i'm like uh, yeah i should wear makeup for a living <laughs> you're like 
speed up this process, dude. <laughs> I'm not excited. It's 60 years. Yeah. I'm going to be dead, dude. Like He's like, mid, you're not I'm like, getting a yeah. gold sticker I'm like, for what me. are we doing here? He's like, 56 years, like halfway through what he's saying. I'm like, I'm on Quibi, bro. Like, this is taking <laughs> too long, dog. My attention span is short. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, um, hopefully we could treat cancer uh, and a lot sooner because... Well, we can't technically treat cancer right now, but, but, yeah. but they want to do better. Yeah. I think they're treating it. Yeah, they treat it. <laughs> I think they treat that. They spray it down. I think they use like Clorox yeah, to or something. Anybody who's listening to this who might have cancer, you can get treated. You can get help. Can you imagine? Yeah. It's like uh, like some, for some strange reason, this podcast goes <laughs> extremely viral. And it's like <laughs> with just a massive uh, like population of people who are like, you know what? This is, I'm not gonna get treated for. <laughs> You're telling me I have to wait it's sixty not, to eighty years to get treated. I was gonna get treated for cancer, but I heard on this podcast <laughs> that, we can't, that, that we there's have to no wait. treatment. I gotta wait fifty to eighty oh, years. Fuck. It's big pharma lying to you we, this whole time. We lost all our <laughs> listeners at protons and neutrons, so we're good. Yeah. At peach tree. Yeah, at peach, peach tree. tree dish. <laughs> That's my goal. Yeah. Is to just lose all of your listeners for you guys. <laughs> nah, it's all right. We did we it a, ourselves. We had a good run. Yeah. You, well, you invited me on here, so <laughs> that's your first mistake. Uh, no, you guys no, are great, great, man. So uh, I guess we should ask some questions about them, right, together. Uh, yeah. Yeah. What's a fun one? I mean, you know, we, we like to talk about you know, questions that involve both people. Yeah. Um, so was there like a specific time on set that really stood out between the two of you that involved the both of you? I'd be curious to hear her answer. I do. <laughs> have Whether it be like funny, annoying, I have a embarrass- bunch. embarrassing. We love embarrassing stories. Yeah. I've got yeah. those. Feel free to, feel free to like flame me if you want or like air something. Out. Oh, I, don't I don't think they were embarrassing. Just light the burners. Just roast them. Let's see. You don't have any embarrassing stories on I set. I mean, maybe of Johnny. No, just there- in general. I mean, yeah, I, yeah, of myself. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> self yeah. No, no, I remember, I think the most fun we had on set for me was when we were shooting, we were just drunk on set. We were supposed to act drunk. We yes. weren't actually mm-hmm. drunk, no. but, but the director kept changing his mind. So he'd be like, okay, in this scene, I want you to be super drunk, like wasted. <laughs> <laughs> and so Johnny and I would do a take where we're like, you know, like fumbling over our words and kind of like just being silly and stuff. And then. Jay came up to us and was like, okay, Johnny, so I don't want it to be like, you're like taking a drunk girl, like trying to take a drunk girl home. So like, don't do that. And we're like, you just told us to do that. (laughs) So then Jay'd be like, okay, now do this, do this next take. Like really like you're not drunk at all. And then we do that. And he'd be like, no, I don't like that. Let's like do half drunk, half serious. And it's just so funny because we were just trying to adapt like in the moment for what he wanted, but it's just like, we couldn't get it right no matter what. And I think, yeah, he used to take of us like being not drunk at all yeah they there's i was confused on that day because they because it it was scripted i i when we worked on that scene i was like i remember in the writer's room we were like it would be funny to see all of our like very you know kind of like nerdier stiff characters cut loose and like i was like i want to see jackson drunk that's a character i play jackson and then so i I, you know i came that day prepared to do that and we did a few takes like that and i was going for it too i'm probably selling it too hard (laughs) And then, yeah, Jay was like, our co-creator, Victor, was like in Video Village and he was like, scribbled something down between a couple of takes and Jay came over and he was like, so we think you're not drunk. We think you're sober right. now. And I was like, it's impossible as an actor to not internalize that and go like, oof, I am doing something wrong yeah. here. But but story-wise, it did make more sense for my character to be more sober. What do you sober. do to act drunk? What kind of, wh- without being drunk, like what are... Well, I personally am like the, I'm, I'm both the best and worst person to assess that because I don't drink anymore. I've been sober for like over five years now, oh, wow, and, nice. um, but I, but I used to drink quite a bit. So <laughs> I, I do remember what it was like, but I don't know. I mean, Rachel did a very, very good job of it. I think Rachel that, method acting. Oh my God. Yeah. Yes. Very method. The whole yeah. show method. Knew it. Can you imagine? Yeah. Drunk the whole Drinking time. out of this method bottle right here. It's not method to just be drunk ne- every day, <laughs> Rachel. Be I wonder if there has been an actor who tried to do method in like a comedy series. Of course. <laughs> like, of course like there has been. Yeah. By the know. way, Succession is a comedy series. All right. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, you, yeah. so you had to act drunk and they... And yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what, what did you like? How do you how do you act drunk? What do you? How do I act drunk? I don't do you, know. I think the best way to act drunk is to try to not be drunk. Try to act like you're not drunk. You yeah. know? Yeah. Mm. I just say like easier a, to I act just high. Say yeah. Things. I go like beep, boop, beep, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Like, that guy's so drunk. That guy's wasted. <laughs> yeah. no. Where's your baby, baby, baby? Yeah. 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 <laughs> you just do your Adam Sandler. Yeah. 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 There it is. I was just gonna say. Yeah. Yeah, boo, yeah, boo, yeah, boo. All right, sit down. You're fucking wasted. Yeah. No, I, you just, I think honestly. Oh, 
God, I hate this answer already. What? The key to acting drunk is don't act drunk. You're yeah. not supposed to like act like yeah. anything. You're just supposed to be like, okay, what is like my, what would be like the most like loosened up version of my character? Yeah. Yeah. Man. Yeah, I was going to say from an editorial standpoint, nothing stands out more than a sober person acting drunk. Yeah, no, you don't yeah. want to do that. It, it just points, it's it's blaring that they're sober. I'm sure yeah. there was a take that was yeah. blaring sober. It's, it's clear as day. Yeah, no, I mean, just it, it, from the movies I've worked on in editing, I've it's something that stands out. Oh, wow. Yeah. Mm. It's, What's the most annoying thing? Would you? Would, is it annoying to watch people eat? In an acting scene, because for me, uh, this is yes. what annoys me when I want what what takes me out when I'm watching a movie or a show. If somebody eats weird, I'm gone. I lost. Well, you lost. It's me. annoying mm. and from like an editorial standpoint because of the continuity. Because like you have to cut around like the bites they're taking and how they're chewing, and like it's different for mm-hmm. each take that they do. So like, say if the director's like, I really like the way he said this line in take four, uh, but I like how he started the scene in take two, mm. and it's like you know cut around you know how much of like the sandwich the person's eaten in the scene like it's it's a little frustrating Mm. and it's definitely the part where like editors start to sweat a little bit (laughs) you're like okay now i actually have to focus and not go on autopilot for this (laughs) yeah because but like when somebody you know because you can't chew like into a mic or i mean you can't chew loud the audio side of things a whole another issue luckily that's not my department also like (laughs) when they look like they're chewing and they're not eating they're just Mm. It's There's like, a whole science to, to eating on camera. There's like a lot of thought that goes into it for some actors. Yeah. And like, you know, Brad Pitt's made a whole career out of eating yeah, on camera. Yeah. That's one of his things. He just always eating and like. I've never realized that until you just mentioned go it. Go on yeah. YouTube and type in like Brad Pitt eating compilation. Ooh. And he eats in I'm into that. And I've heard yeah. from people that like, he'll like, just like, this is so like funny because it's like an inside baseball story but it's such a stupid story where it's like i heard like brad pitt will go to crafty and grab like an apple for a scene it's just like okay like, no yeah. way yeah but shout out to brad i mean pitt. in the glorious bastards he was eating in like every other scene but he's the goat brad something. pitt's yeah. like the goat he makes it work yeah. I, he could do whatever yeah. he wanted and i would buy in you, you, so hard you're right around it yeah yeah. Around yeah. It. yeah i actually tune out if brad pitt does not eat an apple during the scene <laughs> Brad Pitt's not in anything. I too. Yeah, I did a short one time where I had to eat meatballs with no spit bucket, and I just kept eating the bu- the balls. And holy yeah. fuck, dude! Interesting. I was so yeah, interesting, interesting. Yeah. I was so full, man. By like, and then we had to keep going, and I'm like, God damn it! Well, you do learn, get this take. Well, you're spo- I mean, you do learn like in our dinner scene in the pilot where where Malcolm and I are at oh, dinner. Yeah. Like I'm I'm eating throughout that, and you don't want to fake eating because you can see people fake eating. Yeah. So you just learn to eat very slowly with very small bites. And that's, that's the key is yeah. like mm-hmm. just tight. And it also helps to reset, but like, you're not like, like mashing the plate up and taking massive bites. If it calls for you. <laughs> and by the way, that scene called for me to be like scarfing my food down, but you still just like, it's all about like how you're eating rather than like, you mm-hmm. don't literally need to like finish the whole plate. Yeah. I learned the hard way. I was supposed to scarf my food down and I was just, scarfing it down (laughs) one thing i know is like to all the listeners out there um this is a very important conversation for you guys to hear it's like this is how you eat yeah (laughs) on camera we're gonna teach you things learn something yeah how to eat i'm gonna this is my planting my flag in this this is what i want to be known for yeah (laughs) this is your your legacy yes yeah (laughs) we're gonna teach you how to fart next (laughs) yeah Uh, let's hear it (laughs) Yeah, I'm sorry I took it there, guys. Yeah. Well, no, but see, I well, I'm a big We're fan of like now. I'm a fan of like calling people on their bits. So now finish huh? it. I dude, I'll do it all day, man. Don't do, you finish my bit, dude? I can do 30 minutes mm. of fart noises. This is where we lose <laughs> anyway, all of the listeners. Me. This is where we lose all of the listeners. Huh? Anyways, <laughs> so back to you guys. Um, so you that was your embarrassing story was that you had to fake being drunk on set. Good story. Yeah, she said fun. Happy I mean, it was, was a fun time. Story. Fun time. Fun time. Yeah, yeah. Fun time story. No embarrassing moments though, huh? I don't know. I think there has to be, but what's what? your clickbait, Rachel? I don't know if it was. In, I don't know. Like, there was one time. This is also in front of Jay. There was a lot of things in front of Jay. But <laughs> he like Jay, Jay was a director for two hours. Jay Chandasekar was like the best. He's he's so good. You said director for two hours. Two episodes. <laughs> oh, two episodes. Okay, <laughs> two I was gonna say what hours. happened to Jay, man. But no, no, Jay's the best. <laughs> um, yeah. He kept calling me the wrong name the whole, <laughs> the whole, the whole time. He kept calling me Jane. Sarah. He kept calling me Sarah, and I was I'm just like too polite to say anything. So he called me Sarah for a full day. I'm sorry. You let him now. say Sarah all day. Yeah, I did. But then Victor, like he was, he came over to him and he's like, "My name's Rachel." Oh and then, man, you're so nice. And then he, I know I'm too nice, and he, he's like, "I'm so sorry." 
I called you Sarah the whole day, and I'm like, it's okay, Mark. And I was calling him, <laughs> like, uh, calling him Mark the whole day. Oh, nice. And he hated that. That was embarrassing. The embarrassing thing was that um, I have an improv background, and so I'm like, in a lot of scenes, Mark would not let me improvise. <laughs> like, I would try to do it, and he'd be like, no, stick to the words. And I'd be like, that's fine. When Jay was our director, he did let me improvise a lot, and I was like, really feeling good about it, and I was like, great, I'm going to try stuff. And then it was a scene with me and Emma, who plays Ruby. And I think they were, we were like fighting about you or something in a scene. And we were like so jacked up. And I was like, yeah. Jay, I want to try something. I want to slap her. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Where was I? I don't know if you saw this or not. I was like, can I just try it? Let's do a slap. And Jay's like, uh, sure, I'll try anything. Was Emma okay with it? <laughs> yeah. We yeah. we'd both been like rehearsing like a fake slap. Oh, okay. <laughs> just thought oh, it looked good. My God. <laughs> we thought it looked good. We were like rehearsing in our rooms and stuff like that. And we're like, we're gonna we're gonna tell Jay. And so it came time to do it and uh we did the fake slap and um Jay just didn't respond to it at all. He just like looked like stared at us and he goes yeah, we tried it. You're <laughs> like, like, supposed to have a stunt coordinator for stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, no, it was it was right, really Jay, funny. Jay, you're done with the ideas. He goes, I'm going to beat the shit out of her next. <laughs> We're going to try some stuff. No oh, stunts. Yeah. I'm now realizing that as an EP, I need to be there on set. Yeah, <laughs> we shouldn't have been allowed to do that. Um, so do you guys ever hang out offset though? We have a few times. Yeah. We get the we get the like the young people of the cast. The core four. The core four. Yeah, we, we've gotten together a few times. What do you guys do? Uh, crazy, <laughs> crazy, crazy shit. shit. Really? Hood rat stuff. Yeah. Wow. Really? Yeah. It's gangster. Wow. I was honestly like, so gangster, I can't even say it. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm impressed, man. I'm so scared to ask, honestly. Sure, Rob, Rob, like gangster. Rob, Rob tog, tags along with you guys, right? On, Who's on, that? Rob. Who? Oh, yeah. my dad. Yeah. Yeah, on, on these adventures of yours? Yeah. Your, your hood rat shit? When he's invited, yeah. <laughs> I'm mostly doing hood rat stuff with my friends. Um, <laughs> but... Yeah, could, I guess he would. Talk and by hood rat stuff, you mean watch the Real Housewives, bro? If you want to get into Bravo, we can do it right now. <laughs> oh, I, I was gonna try segueing into your your guys's press for the the show and how you've been on like this press tour, I guess, mm-hmm. and what what your most fun or interesting interviews you've had are. And okay, beautiful uh, segue. I can sort of do both. So yeah. my so we I was in New York doing press for the show, and one of the um, sort of legs of that was doing um, Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen and mm. and. The way that show works is they try and book you with a, they try and book people who are fans of, of Bravo in some way or watch a show and they try and book you with a cast made of the show you watch. So I'm, I'm obsessed with Vanderpump Rules. Um, and so they, like a month before, <clears throat> told me I was going to be on with someone from Vanderpump. Meanwhile, there's this huge scandal going on in Vanderpump right now. Called, there's the playful term is Scandival because this guy Tom Sandoval <laughs> Uh, got discovered for having an affair on his wife who's on the show with another girl on the show. And it's this crazy, crazy drama. And so like Vanderpump's in the height of its, you know, uh, the zeitgeist right now. And um, I was, you know, beside myself that I got to go do this. And then like a week before I was set to go on, they were like, they, w- they didn't tell me who the guest was. And then a week before my publicist called me and she's a huge Vanderpump fan too. It's awesome. <laughs> And she called me and she was like, you're not going to believe who's on with you. And I was like, you got to just tell me right now. And, and it was, it's this guy named Tom Schwartz who's like, as far as the scandal goes, there's like four people in, like involved in it. And I was like, there's no way it's going to be one of these people. And he's like one of the main guys involved. And it, and so I was like beside myself. So I got to watch what happens live and, and small segue, but my stylist, <clears throat> Jenny, who's the best shout out to Jenny, uh, was like, I, you know, we picked out my outfits for the sh- stuff I was doing there. And, um, the, she was like, you know, when you're in the clubhouse, which is what they call when you're on watch what happens off, you're like, you kind of got a peacock, you kind of got to wear something fun. So they picked out this like very loud, uh, like, and I love it. This like loud, like silk, like matching set. And they were like, this is your Zendaya moment. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, I need you guys to know something. I'm like a very white, very Jewish, like <laughs> born of privilege. Like I don't need a Zendaya moment. Like she <laughs> should have hers and I'll just wear like my normal like suit and tie stuff. But I wore it. Um, and so I walked in, I'm like kind of uncomfortable. I'm like worried. I look like a, a goober. Um, and then I meet Tom Schwartz fangirl over him. He's like, I'm a huge fan of your show. And I was like, oh, God, that's so cool. <laughs> um, and, like, to me, like, the, I, you know, I, having grown up around the entertainment industry, I've, I've had a lot of interactions with people who, who work 
in it and thus have some level of acclaim and like the celebrities to me are these people like I'm like I get starstruck in front of these people <laughs> it's so funny you and, say that <laughs> and so I'm super starstruck right next to Tom Schwartz and, wow. I, and, and he can kind of sense it and he's like very nice and, and he's you know very very sweet and charming and then Andy Cohen comes in and, and he's great too and, and they start talking about like the the uh, uh, like down low off the record stuff with this scandal, which I can't, literally can't say on here, but like it was like mm. I, I, to be a fly in, on the wall in that room was all I had ever dreamed of. It, to be clear, was the greatest wow. moment of my life. And then we, you know, we go out and and he's like nervous. This guy Tom Schwartz because he's like not done a media appearance since the scandal. Am I talking way too much about this? No, this is yeah. great. We're, it's okay. all right. We're in. We're in. Uh, and um, so we like and I and, and I'm like, you know. They don't know how big of a fan I am. We sit down and it co becomes very clear, very fast. I'm a huge fan. I'm just wow. letting him talk. He has no media training, no publicist oh, with him. God. Oh, wow. No, he's just winging it. And I kind of respect him for it. I don't know if it was the best decision for him. That's the most <laughs> political way I can put it. But he said things that he shouldn't have said on there for sure. And he knows this too. Oh, by the way, he was saying it. He was like, I kind of just, I'm just saying stuff. And like in between commercials, I could see Andy being like, what are we doing here? Like, mm. what are we doing here, bud? And um, <laughs> it was like so tense. And I oh, like man. was just soaking in it. It was incredible. Yeah. And and I was like asking follow up. What, like Andy came up to me before and he's like, you're a big fan, right? I'm like, yeah. He's like, well, you, are you willing to ask? Are you willing to get involved? I was like, am I willing? I was like, but I do want him to talk <laughs> most of the time. On it. <laughs> so like he would say something and then, you know, where he'd be like, and this is going to be jargon to people who don't watch the show, but it's just to give you a sense where he'd be like, you know, I, I, I think Tom was just addicted to Raquel. Like he just, you know, sh she was like his heroine and like they would just, and I was like, well, when you say heroin, like, would you think it was like a bad addiction? And then he's like, oh, I did. I say hair, you know, I would call him <laughs> out on these terms because I wanted to know what he thought. And oh. I got, I feel like I got him to go to like, a different place with some of the answers challenged and then um <laughs> and then the show ended and, and and andy was like we gotta cut some of that stuff out and um <laughs> and then i think and then i also don't want to say too much i want to be back invited back on that show goes, um, we have to redo the whole thing and um <laughs> we go backstage after and um Tom is just like, I don't know what I did. And I can tell he kind of knows he just like lit a mat, like a lit a fuse and is like, this shit's going to blow at some point. Like might as well be right now. Uh, and then that I left being like so giddy and I like called, you know, I FaceTimed <laughs> one of my, I FaceTimed one of my friends who's an actor who's, she's a very successful actor. I'm not going to name drop, but she, she, and she's like obsessed with Vanderpump. We watch it like every week. And I FaceTimed her with, uh, Tom and, and she was like got very shy and was like hi and then oh. when we hung up he was like she's a fan of mine oh. and I was, you know where it's just like the dynamic is so funny because yeah. to us they're like those are the people we're obsessed with we watch them every week and then they're like that's like an, an Emmy winning you know human wow. being like, what <laughs> wow. you know so but I get in the car and then I go that night I go to dinner with my friends and the show's airing and my phone just starts going crazy like oh. crazy as crazy as it's ever gone and it was like this moment in time for this <laughs> community of people who love Bravo <laughs> where it just went crazy. And I still get, it's been like a week and I still, I've never had more of a presence in like the culture than just being next to that as it occurred. Cause that's all I did. I just sat there and was like, <laughs> took it in and people that's were like only, that's the only reason we had you on the podcast because you said valid to, you sat next to tom schwartz uh, it's valid <laughs> <laughs> no totally I, valid. I know those guys too they came to a comedy show years ago Ooh. i do stand-up comedy oh, but okay. yeah so they Plug came it. to a show what's the instagram was my instagram well know. they fall this is my podcast so hopefully <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, hey guys if you Plug haven't it. seen me uh check me out on my podcast uh, watch his show watch his show uh, uh, subliminal just, just watch it no just but watch yeah vinnie fast line is uh stable. my ma my name that's my real name but i was doing a show at the improv years ago and these they uh this group of people could not get into the show the show was sold out and they were sitting outside and it was tom tom and adrian andrea adrian ariana right? ariana <laughs> Get it right. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> I love we, we. I just like in the corner. We've got a fellow yeah. Bravo fan. Oh, this yeah. is my girlfriend. She was like, "You have Johnny Lowe. He just did that pie." Yes. That with, Let's with, go with, with uh, Andy Cohen. She's obsessed. I've introduced yeah. her to every comedian. I brought her to a private Dave Chappelle show. Didn't know he was. I'm calling her out on it. Oh. But she literally is obsessed with the Real Housewives and all the Vanderpump oh, Rules yeah. and all that we'll stuff. We'll talk. 
So that's why it's really funny. <laughs> I love that. I love but, that. It's. It, yeah. I'm telling you, man. It. It's. People are like, "What are you watching these days?" And I'm like, "Is it bad that I have my zins out right no, now?" No, dude. No. I was doing them for a while. Okay. I, don't I just quit them, dude. By the way. About it. Um, Anyways, let me get the, one. The, no, <laughs> I'm just. No, no, I just oh, you quit. just quit. I, I wouldn't let you. I quit. This is how I quit vaping. So. Oh really? I was gonna say there's a lot worse things that could be going. This is on. how I quit yeah. vaping, yeah. and I don't drink either, so I don't have any vi- many vices. Um, yeah, that's all right. Good. I'm uh, not. I didn't have like a issue with like drinking but i i cut alcohol out of my diet as of recently i've been on the the past year i've been on like a huge focus for like weight loss and you know alcohol is just one of those things you've seen i mean you've seen me at my peak yeah i mean i don't know how much i'm allowed to laud you on here but can i take a small moment to do it you look fantastic man you you. look like energetically even i would say you know as somebody who is into the like woo woo la stuff when it comes to that like you I'm so happy for you. You seem so healthy. And yeah, like, me too. You yeah. seem like, and again, like Tony's always Tony, but but you do yeah. seem like you have like evolved into yourself very quickly, and I'm very happy for now you. Thank you, Antonio. <laughs> is that what you are on this <laughs> podcast, dude? I love that he's so healthy because he still cooks. Like he is like a fat master man chef. That he cooks. You're a master yeah. chef, but he you. doesn't eat. I've it never all, been so invited. I'm not heard about it, but dude, <laughs> he's incredible, and he doesn't finish now. So hey, he's like, if you want some meatballs, I made meatballs today. <laughs> yeah, so I'd love yeah. to have your balls in my mouth. That'd yeah, be wonderful. I'll, I'll feed you my I'll feed you my balls after the the taping. No, but thank you. I appreciate it um just to go over it quickly and not to talk about myself but talk about uh, <laughs> a, a year ago i was at my max weight which was 425 pounds give oh or take God, yeah. uh i looked like a human bowling ball it was great and uh i you know kind of took matters into my own hands of uh you know i tried everything for weight loss dieting working out wh- whatever it may be and nothing really stuck uh and i got a gastric sleeve surgery and so they surgically removed 80% of my stomach. Um, so if your stomach's like shaped like a cashew, they took out the bulbous part of the stomach. So it's just like a very thin tube, basically like the size of a Red Bull can. Wow. Um, and there was no room for it to stretch when you eat. So it really restricts on your portion sizes, which was my issue. So like, you know, food was my my therapist. So mm-hmm. I, yeah. you know, I ate whenever I was sad. I was sad because I was overweight. I was overweight because I ate. Yeah. And so I needed to break that cycle somehow. And that did it. And uh, weight just started falling off. And I've stuck to it ever since. It was, I had it a year ago and I've lost 210 crazy. pounds. Wow. Yeah. Isn't yeah. that crazy? And a, a month ago, I had a, another operation done to remove all the extra skin I had, which I'm currently recovering from. So incredible. But it's, uh, it's I love awesome. how yeah. open you are about it. And yeah. having known you, you know, through that, I just am like always. Uh, but I've, yeah. I, I, now I'm taking a small victory lap in the sense that I've always hyped yeah. you up every time I've seen you. You have. Uh, yeah. And I always <laughs> will hype you up. Thank you. I, I mean, I, I haven't seen him in a couple of weeks, just a couple of weeks. And I'm just like, holy fuck. You, you yeah. know, it's like every time <laughs> I see him. I, I also I just I just got back from Japan a couple of weeks ago, so I uh, I uh, sushi was diet. walking around like you know <laughs> minimum twenty thousand steps a day, hardly eating anything. So I really like slimmed <laughs> down on that trip. But uh, no, I, I appreciate it, Johnny. And like mm. I, I was gonna say, like you've known me from again when I was at my heaviest to where I'm at now, which is probably my healthiest I've been in the past fifteen years. So I'm a uh, I'm always excited to almost show myself off to my friends who have seen me in these mm. stages of my life. Yeah. Um, Cause it, it's just really cool. I'm it, so stoked yeah. for you. Thank you. Thank yeah. You. But yeah, alcohol, alcohol sucks. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> it's, not I, wor- it's not worth it. <laughs> That's all I say. It's not I, worth it. <laughs> you're preaching to the choir. Yeah. I'm, yeah I'm just, you get it. Preaching yeah. To the choir. I just took my, my sorry guys. I'm going to go get a drink real quick. <laughs> this guy. Do we have them? <laughs> we do later, it's a later. Good night I'll for start this in. You do the drinks <laughs> off the record. Off do you drink her the way? Yeah, I do. Okay. Yeah. Do you do it? This is a, no. so do you smoke weed? Do you do anything else? Not really. Okay, cool. Yeah. Hey, I'm not trying to put you on the spot or anything. I was just wondering. No, I could be. I, was, I don't. Yeah. And by the way, I don't most, I have like sober friends and I have most of my childhood friends are not sober. And I, I, I am more fun sober than I was when I wasn't like, I go still go out. I don't go to like clubs necessarily, but I'll go to like a bar with my friends and like play games and like, I'm kind of an instigator. I'm like, I'll buy him <laughs> drinks and I'm like, you know, and I'm like, you know, this person saying that, you know, I'm like, I, you like the Bravo the side of me comes out. <laughs> but, uh, Start the fires. Yeah. yeah. But you're I'm, like, I'll DD and you get everybody drunk and then you leave, leave them. them. Yeah. <laughs> no, I like driving them. Cause that's when you get all the secrets. That's true. <laughs> 
Yep, That's yep. awesome. I, I always said it's the most confidence I ever have is being sober, being a DD, and going through a DUI <laughs> checkpoint. Because you just know. It's the best. Yeah. I've always said that. Fucking well, good. Once I got sober, I'm like, cops, just don't ever scare me. Not that I, I never drove drunk even when I was an alcoholic because I was so scared of it. But yeah. I there's just a certain confidence that comes with it where like, which is, what is so it, white, stupid, white privilege? by the way. Yeah. It's just called white privilege. Um, no, it's so dumb because it's a complex that's fake where I'm like, I'm sober. I'm a good guy now. And the cop's like, you were going 90. It doesn't, like, I don't, we I don't you. care how good of a guy you are. I'm like, you don't get it, man. It's like, I haven't had a drink in five years. Let me out. Oh, that's great. Like, you just ran over yeah, four people. Yeah, you killed someone. I'm like, but I'm sober. I'm on my way to it. Yeah. But I'm sober. Yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're, you're free to go. You're free to go. That's a big deal though. Five yeah. years is a long Congratulations. time. Congratulations. Thank you. Good, yeah. man. That's I, awesome. Uh, I, I'm very proud of it. Yeah. Thank you. So Rachel, back to you guys. I mean, just to just to put it back on gear here and on the tracks. Um, uh, you guys, we we try to get to an embarrassing story. Oh yeah. Um, but we don't have to do that. Like, anymore. No, I can try and think of one for, I was, for us. I was I, gonna. Yeah. I would say the most embarrassing story. I'm not gonna. I would never like just air you out. I'm trying to think of one for like both of us. Like I feel like an embarrassing oh, story yeah. for air her out. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I don't really. I can't. She's nah. too professional. She was too good. <laughs> but um, I would say, for, but you kind of aired yourself out. You not correcting Jay on saying your name wrong all day yeah. is pretty embarrassing. It but is embarrassing. I think that um, there is a scene in episode six or seven where we're all in the um the freezer oh, yeah. oh and, i love that day and it's like one of my favorite scenes in the show but she her character has to basically squeeze through myself and and, and emma who plays ruby on the show and um it would they made it a tight space so that the squeeze was tight and so it looks funny. very funny but rachel had to like shimmy through us all the time <laughs> and i i I used to te I teased her kind of because like there are moments where like she'll I feel like it's like maybe when the takes dead or dying or whatever but you'll like go into like a little voice or you're like <laughs> nah, 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 nah. like that yeah. was my character uh, Donnie <laughs> that was the character yeah <laughs> but I loved I loved it it was an affectionate teasing but that day was a lot of like squeeze and something bumps and falls and it's like all right we got it and she's like <laughs> <laughs> stayed in character well, I a little gremlin yeah, yeah. <laughs> no that I feel like that day we like could not get a take where we weren't laughing because it was like yeah. a physical gag like they just made the space so small that like anyone had to squeeze between people and it was just like so funny yeah. inherently i can air myself out too are you ready for this yeah. i got yeah. one for myself um yep. emma who plays ruby uh we do share some some love interest moments and she's a little taller than me uh <laughs> yeah. and so oh. there's one scene where we may or may not have to um smooch and there was a discussion internally about whether or not um, an Apple box was oh. for me. I will say proudly that they were like, it's not, the difference isn't that bad. So they didn't go with it, mm. but it was definitely not my, my happiest moment when like, <laughs> as like a, you know, cause as an actor, you're just at the whim of whatever, but as a, you know, EP, it's like, they come over like, what do you think you're, do you think you're, and I'm like, I don't know, man. I'm like, <laughs> I need to find an Apple box. <laughs> so that's my. Hi, that's you up. didn't. You didn't use it. Didn't use it. Hmm. I swear. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I, I would have been like, sure. Hmm. <laughs> I now, if I'm being fully truthful, I think we may have used it for one set of shots and mm. then for not for the other. Got it. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, I like don't a, fully recall. Like a close up. To be clear, something. I was game to use it. It yeah. wasn't like me being like, "Don't give me that." I was right, just right. sad that it was like <laughs> a conversation. Was Was this filmed during like I, I want to say peak COVID times? But like you know, not, I, not I, peak. No. But what, were there still like you know COVID, COVID restrictions? COVID restrictions. restrictions. Yeah. But you're protocols, testing, yeah. but, but but because of you know Netflix is very professional about yeah. it in the sense of like you're in such a consistent testing pattern that that you know yeah. once you're in it, you're in it. I've and, I've. Yeah been in that you know i'm at happy madison so i'm in the netflix umbrella oh, yes. so oh. um, get us into yeah. happy madison yeah, yeah. In. all right, all right. i know i know there? a guy i'll call i'll yeah. call adam after this you know so. that guy sandler to be <laughs> clear is is my favorite person on the planet yeah and i love that don't know him but i'm yes. obsessed with him Same. and mm -hmm. He's also my style guru. I mm. just yes. one day want to have enough confidence to dress like him. And I'd yep. say this 
not ironically. I want to wear basketball shorts that hang to my ankles <laughs> and a sweatshirt to a premiere because I think that is... It's like, cool as fuck. Yeah. As far I as like swag goes, like swagger, I'm like, that's Adam Sandler as swagger. Have Dude, you w- seen the, the press photos of him uh, when he got his hip replacement surgery or knee replacement surgery? He was dressed like that, but he was walking around Brentwood with a cane. <laughs> so he's just, oh, yeah, just pimping that. around Brentwood. That's, and <laughs> that's the guy. Dude, the he's best. the best. I, Talk I went, about swagger, man. <laughs> I went to the Joe Dirt 2 premiere. Wow, because oh, wow. I'm, fr- I'm friends with David. Vinny, uh, you're dating yourself again. <sighs> yeah, I know. yeah. I, <laughs> no. I am definitely dating myself. <laughs> I went. Uh, yeah, I went to that premiere, and and uh, and Adam showed up in gym shorts and a oh t-shirt and socks, and he sat in the back and he just made fun of David the whole time during the movie. <laughs> He's like, hey, 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 "Look at you, David. You suck!" Like during the movie. <laughs> I love that. And I'm like, "This is the, not the pre- like." I, I think it was one of my first premieres when I moved out here, and I was just like, "What is happening?" Wow. I'm sitting next to David and all the like the Sandler people, yeah. and then and then I just you know everyone you, you in your mind you think everyone shows up in these really nice outfits and everything. Yeah. Adam just showed up in gym shorts. I was like, that's my fucking guy. He's the my best. God. First time I ever met him too at the, at the improv, I kind of panicked a little bit and I asked him, I was, I was doing a show and I asked him if he wanted to do it. And, uh, we were, I mean, we were talking for a minute and then I said, Hey, do, do you want to, I know you're coming back in the standup. Do you want to, you know, would you want to do my show? He said, when's the date? And I was like, uh, nine 11. <laughs> it was actually nine, like 12 or 13, but I panicked. And then oh, he's, no. he looks at me. He's just like, you picked a weird date for that one, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> and I, I didn't even correct them. I forgot that it was like nine twelve. And uh, oh, at that point, yeah. You, yeah, you can't correct them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's I was like, yeah, I sure did pick a weird date. I picked a weird date. I did. Or I you play it, it off, and you're like, no, I didn't. What's what? <laughs> Wait, what's nine eleven? What's wrong with that? Oh, oh my god, yeah, that's, that's too funny. Fact, did he do it? Uh, no, but I've seen him a bunch in stand up, just yeah. coming around, and he's he's awesome. I mean, yeah, I do shows with his, you know, a lot of his friends a lot, but. Like Spade and all them too, but cool. yeah, he's just Adam's really fucking awesome. He's really nice. Yeah. He's, Spade. Yeah, guy. All those guys, the whole the whole crew, they're just super nice. But uh, you guys are also really nice. Come back to you. <laughs> what a segue! <laughs> what a wow. segue back to you guys. So fucking nice. <laughs> anyway, so you guys uh, can't talk much about your your connection on the show, but I mean, talk mainly, I mean, it, we can talk a little bit. It's about like it. in right. the first episode, you find out. Yeah. There's like a love triangle yeah. in our show. Also, the show's been out. If yeah. You know, watch if you it. haven't watched it, watch it. No, we could just say spoiler <laughs> warning and we'll throw yeah. up a, a text so yeah. people know. Yeah. And then if they watch past it, that's their fault yeah. if they get anything spoiled. You know? But watch the show. Watch just the watch show. it. Please. Please. Stream watch that shit show. right now. It's staple on Netflix. Watch yeah. it. Oh, I, I've been having on repeat on my TV for the <gasps> past three weeks. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. You and my dad. Does that help yeah. with the views? I don't know. He's lying. He knows. I don't know. <laughs> He's lying. You better flip that pillow over so no one gets any ideas. My dad has watched I have no it, idea. I think, five times through. Yeah. It, um, it is, I will say, I, I did do the binge initially after your yeah. dad called me out on not watching it yet. Um, <laughs> and then I, since then, I have had it playing in the background whenever I'm, like, cooking or something. Because yeah. it's, like, what we were talking about when we first started. It's, like. It's one of those shows. Genre of show yeah. that you can just put on in any mood. And, and it's rewatchable too. I love it. It's like, yeah. that is my jam. Yeah. It's yeah. great. Do you, do you guys ever prank each other on the show? Like like on set? Just fuck with each other a little uh, bit? We're wacky. <laughs> so wacky. Uh, I don't think I have I don't know you. if I... No? You yeah. never mess with each other? Um, I think... We wouldn't mess with each other, but we'd... I don't know. After like a take or something, we'd be like... You suck. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Or be like, try, yeah. try, that, try doing it good. Or, you yeah. know, like, uh, yeah, we had like funny, we're like bits. Like, yeah. it was oh, clear we were kidding, God. but like, Rachel. I'm so insecure. I'd be in my head like, fuck, do I suck? I don't know. <laughs> no, no, because it's clear. It's over. <laughs> she's getting like laughs, like, and everyone's laughing and she's crushing. Mm-hmm. And then I'd be like, maybe try one where you're like, I don't know. <laughs> you're funny. You don't suck. <laughs> I also yeah. feel like when you joke on set, it's like such a great sign. And if you don't, if you can't make fun of each other, it's like, yeah, yikes. No, that's, imp- that's important. <laughs> yeah. And but, and we make fun of ourselves too. Yeah. Yeah. You have to. Yeah. Okay. I would say Fred Armisen would always do a bit on set. Mm. That's a good, right. He, was he, in a would, constant he would mess with me a lot. He, Fred yeah. messed with me a lot. He was, he was like my favorite. He was our dream casting. We wrote the role for him. We didn't think we'd get him. We got him. I was, He's like on my comedy Mount Rushmore. Um, And I think my guess is it's like from his SNL days, like in his roots to like hone in on who's the person that's always going to laugh or break and Mm. then like mercilessly torment them in a fun way. But like, 
there was one scene in particular where it's not scripted that uh, I'm eating a bagel in the morning and, and at the end of the scene he just kept, or he just started once, just he would reach over and look at me and and just take a super long time just pulling the plate out from under my <laughs> nose as he was saying his line. And it <laughs> sounds not that funny, but when Fred Armisen's like staring you in the eyes. Yeah. So the first time I like kind of laughed and, and he was like, that was kind of funny. Like, And he's so playful. He's so nice. He was like, that was kind of funny. Was like, Maybe I'll do it again. Maybe I'll do it again. And, and so he... The ne- we run through the next thing and I'm kind of like bracing myself. I'm like, don't laugh if he does this. Because it's, it's like my coverage at this point. And he grabs the plate and then kind of like starts like shaking it in front of my face. <laughs> and then does this thing where he pulls it all the way to him and then like, and it doesn't make any sense. There's like almost no way it can live in the cut. But it's so funny where he just pulls it back and then puts it back under my nose <laughs> almost like to like tease me and then... <laughs> And he kept doing it over and over again, and then finally our director, Mark, came over, and he was like, ah, we're all having so much fun. We're so, so Johnny, we don't have a usable take. You've laughed in every take. So <laughs> just please stop laughing. And you I were like it. Jimmy Fallon on SNL. You just couldn't hold it in. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. Hold it in. That was just great, though. Laugh. I like when people laugh, man. It's I th- fun. I, know. I think it's yeah. fun. If it's yeah. authentic, it's fun. I th- yeah. yeah if it's, it, I mean, I'm into that, man. I just, it's, I mean, obviously, it's just, yeah. I, what, I, what I love the most is laughter, so... I would try to make, it's just got to be hard on set when you're supposed to not laugh and then you're just like cracking up and it's like, is there anything worse? So I have a f- question for you. Like as a comedian, is there anything worse? Cause I have friends that do stand up and stuff and I've seen this happen to them where someone's like, you know, you're in a new social s- setting and it's like, you know, what do you do? But so, so, so this guy's like, oh, I'm going to stand up and someone, and like someone will be like, Oh tell great. Me tell joke. me a joke. Oh. And I'm like, I cringe for them. I'm oh. like, that's mm. such a hard setup. It's That's my least so favorite. Difficult. It's my least favorite. It's Do you like, have one chambered that you're? No, I tell that? them the one fuck in off. The chamber. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I, anytime they do that, I respectfully, I'm very nice about. it. I'm like, ah, it's just not the right environment. Yeah. And, and I, you know, you don't tell da da jokes. It's like stories, and you got to come to a show. Just come to a show as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But normally, then if they just annoy me, I'm like, what do you do? Like you're, you work at Starbucks. It's like make me a bre- like a drink right now, yeah. and I'll tell you a bit. Like, yeah, make me what, a what kind of person? Do you, it's like dance, monkey, dance. Yeah, you don't tell anybody yeah. to do their job in that moment right, in time. Right. You know, especially when it's not set up for that. Like a, in stand up, if you do it outside, it ruins the comedy. Like you know, you just you need a specific environment. Mm-hmm. So. So yeah. Even if it's like, tell me a joke. It's like, I've oh. see, yeah, I've just been a witness to that. And uh, I was like, Oof. I just, cr- it, uh, trust me. It kind of reminds me of like when, um, this is kind of a hyper niche thing, but like when mm-hmm. you like someone goes up to an actor and is like, I know you, <laughs> where do I know you from? And then it's mm-hmm. like, what is that person supposed to do to be like, oh, um, you might know me from this <laughs> or this <laughs> or this. It's And it's like yeah. totally, look totally a valid thing for someone to do because they're just like externalizing their thoughts or vocalizing their thoughts but it does put the actor in an uncomfortable position where they're mm-hmm. like shit do i need to like read out my imdb star meter right now like <laughs> yeah. dude my buddy has the funniest bit where he talked fahim he says he says a bit about how everybody in hollywood everybody in la is like in the entertainment business so you can walk up to anybody and just go i love your work and they'll go <laughs> thank you <laughs> That's good. Oh my God, I'm it's gonna good. try that. <laughs> it's, good. it's ridiculous. It's the, it's the hands for me. It's thank because you. Namaste. Namaste. Thank, thank, you. thank, thank you. you. Thank you. God thank bless. You. Yeah. It's yeah. true, though, right? <laughs> Anyways, yeah. that's stupid. Enough about comedy. So, but, but I was gonna say, I don't know if it's comedy or not. But you said you have a background in improv, Rachel. Yeah, uh, yeah. Comedic improv, or yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Awesome. I, I um. Is there dramatic improv? Is there drama improv? I, there I, is. There People could be, do. Right? People do. Um, that is funny to me. <laughs> I would go to that. Yeah. I've, no, you wouldn't. I've gone to it. It's bad. Oh. <laughs> it's bad. Well, it, no, it's just bad. It's like a, yeah. like you're making up a play. You on get the on spot. stage. You're like, give me an idea. Someone's like, yeah. your mom's dead. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, okay. okay. I miss mother For so some, much. <laughs> <laughs> I miss it, and I would Mama. be laughing. <laughs> Yeah. I'd be yeah. the only person there cracking up. Like, this is the best comedy improv I've ever seen. <laughs> your mom's dead. But you're in Cabo. Oh. So you're like, <laughs> My mom okay, would have loved this. Yeah. There's also like improvised Shakespeare. Have you guys gone to an improvised Shakespeare I, show? So in college, uh, yeah. we had like an improv group and they would do it like a show once a month and yeah. Yeah, people could buy tickets to it. And one of the one of the months they did Shakespeare. Yeah. So you I, did it? I, I didn't do it. I watched oh. it. Yeah. Oh. I feel like that's for people it's who hilarious. like have like, who are like, I do improv that's like dumb improv. A mm. lot of people do like smart like improv that's drink. like, yeah. you know. Can I snag a sponsored Dude, drink? Oh, yeah. help yourself. Sponsored? Sponsored by yeah, right? yeah. it, please. Oh my God. Yeah. So, but so, no, I yeah, I have a background in improv at UCB and I, I'm nice. on a couple teams there and I do sketch and. Uh, and you had to rehearse Shakespeare? 
No, 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 no. I don't do that. Oh, I don't do you, that. Oh, yeah, I just think it. that that's like a different type of improv. I've done it. A few different types. If I profane oh, the sun where there's time, this holy shrine, the gentle fine is this. Oh. My lips, me. two brushing pilgrims, ready stand to smooth that rough touch with a tender kiss. I think that's real Shakespeare. It is. Is that real? No, that was real. That's not funny. <laughs> I actually, I actually, no, I, I that, didn't do any. Was that Macbeth? <laughs> no, that was Shakespeare. I, I just, I met Romeo and Juliet. I had to, mm. I, I made a stand up bit about it. So I had to rehearse that. And I just kept for the bit. And then and I was, and then I was just laughing. Cause I go, I rehearsed that entire saying in my bedroom, like in my underwear, just trying to remember it. Like if I profane with this, rub his head. if I profane with this, just walking around until I got it. I'm like, it's useless information. <laughs> I, uh, to me, I feel like um, uh, Shakespeare's overrated. Oh, what? Stray bullet to Shakespeare. No, I actually, <laughs> I don't have a, a take. I was a bit. I don't. Care. Nobody yeah. cares about Shakespeare, honestly. Dude. <laughs> yeah. like, if we walked up to ten people on the street and we go, "How big of a Shakespeare fan are you?" They'd go, "Not at all." Am I wrong? <laughs> you think all ten? Am I wrong? Am I, I canceled? Mean, all ten? I don't know. Get Am I canceled? Them? Fuck out. You cannot offend. No, there's like so many actors that only care about Shakespeare. Really? Like, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. I'm a piece of shit. No? In uh, LA, you're getting nine out of 10 people who know who Shakespeare is. Yeah. No. In like wherever else, I don't want to offend someplace, but you know, you're not in the, in the Central America area. <laughs> I loved how we had crickets in the room for offending Shakespeare. <laughs> it got really uncomfortable for a second. Oh my God. Well, I'll, I'll be honest. I, I, I zoned out for like five seconds. I know it's crazy <laughs> that you say that because yeah. I actually didn't know how to articulate it, but I, and I didn't want to, but I was yeah. like, honestly, man, I just zoned out really. Hard. I did okay. too. And then, yeah. and then you, you said that. I'm like, uh, I had no, I had nothing I, I to say. I not to respond. I wasn't, didn't, I had no yeah. emotion. It had no emotional <laughs> impact on me whatsoever. I was just trying to see how oh present God. we all were and maybe we should close the podcast up. <laughs> I was just kind of like, I guess he's he grabbing drinks. She's like, uh, you know, do speak Shakespeare. He's zoned out. I'm just like farts. I'm talking to myself. Anyways, I'm gonna do Rachel real fast. Hmm? You have an impression of Rachel. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> By the way, <laughs> mama, can we get this? Mama, mama, mama? I've heard it a few times. How's it go? Do, do your gremlin. Ooh, do it. Wait, gremlin. Yeah, yeah, do yeah. the bit. Do the roar. <laughs> That's a shrug. Give me a phrase. Uh, can a you say? Uh, uh, I went to the dog park. I went to the dog park. <laughs> that's the, okay. So that, that sounds like your character. That is her character. That is yeah. That's character. why I, that's okay. why I do it. Cause then, oh. cause she'll, I haven't cause done that voice in a year. That was oh, great. My god. oh my God. Can I still do it? Do it again. Yeah. Say, uh, still do it. say, say Shakespeare is super overrated. You say Johnny. Uh, as Jackson or as, <laughs> no, as cause it takes a lot of, uh, Oh, as Luna. As okay, Luna. great. <laughs> Shakespeare's overrated. All right, hold on. Let me, Shakespeare's find, my, let me find like my character and like, What's my, get this on what are my phone. intentions? What's one of my secrets? <laughs> yeah, pull your phone yeah. out. <laughs> <laughs> get in character. The lips, the teeth, the tip of the tongue. The lips, the teeth. Okay. You ready? Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> focus, motherfucker. Shakespeare's overrated. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oscar worthy. Oh my god. <laughs> I love that. that you have to talk day. like that the whole time you're on the show? I did it was a choice I made in the audition. <laughs> I feel like it's important to say right now that she does an incredible job on the show. That, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Johnny. So what if it was just like a nervous tick you had at the time of auditions and they got stuck it with really it? It really was. Yeah. I was like, what does a nerd sound like? And I was like, I think this. You did the over exaggerated nerd voice, and you're <laughs> stuck with it for a whole year. We we usually like to, you know, when we're we're kind of coming into a closing here, but I we usually like to end the podcast with what you guys hate about each other the most. Um, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm totally kidding. <laughs> okay. <I'm just> kidding. <laughs> Tony starts. Yeah. He just talks shit about me for the last five minutes. Go ahead. Tony. Well, Vinny's shoes that he wears, his outfits, his hairline, yeah. his Ooh. comedy, Ow! his, his eyes, Ooh, his okay. smile. Oh, okay. Oh. Um, um, Are these things you like? Uh, you no, know what? I'm gonna let Vinny figure that out. No, there, there are definitely some hits in there. Okay. <laughs> His cooking. Oh, uh, that, I think I buy that one. I think I buy that one. It's like two truths and a lie. Which ones yeah. do you actually? Which ones? Yeah. Okay, we can say though what your favorite, uh, what your favorite things about each other are. Oh, you that's so nice. I'll be tender. Tender. I would love well, to well, do in that. a tender way. Yeah. Yeah, I would love to do that. Um, can okay. I go first, please? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I adore Rachel's sense of humor and playfulness on set 
and the energy she I said that look this is not me like <laughs> just like hyping her up she is a delight to work with uh mm-hmm. so I Thanks, yeah, I love that about her nice. wow amazing it's oh awesome God. um wow yeah you got Johnny I love <laughs> I love Johnny's sincerity. I feel like you can just tell how much you've worked on yourself. You're so humble. You're so talented. You're just such a sincere person. I was honestly shocked when I first met you. I love that. No, really. I was. (laughs) And everyone asked me, like, how is Rob Lowe's son? (laughs) And I think they just want you to be like an asshole. Yes. You know? I'm very used to that. But you're so sincere and you are so talented. And I feel lucky to be your friend and on the show. And so you're also nice. my boss. <laughs> <laughs> Good. <I'm just> <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was really nice. That was very. Straight. I felt like we should have opened with that. Look at how like you guys both looked at each other like. Really? I know. I loved that. That yeah. was a great moment. You guys, this is a a lovely space to bring people yeah. together. I, I hope that you do this with more people. We are. We are yeah. definitely. I Thanks. watch one and it's just like, all right, say what the fuck you hate about him. Go. <laughs> <laughs> we'll never do that. Yeah. Uh, the idea of this whole thing was because I feel like everyone is uh, the most, um, everyone is who they truly are, who they're most comfortable with. So the more comfortable you with a, a person, the more you're going to be your real self. Mm-hmm. Now you guys don't know each other as much. So, but we have know, to get to know each other you, fast. But yeah. being on set together, you're spending a lot of time together. Totally. Yeah. So now you have a working chemistry too, where you're like, yeah. you know, that's exhausting mentally. That's strange. Like there's True. just a lot. So you guys are broken down and now you have to still like, you know, be together the whole time throughout yeah. it. So you guys, I'm sure, built a bond. But that's the whole thing about this is, you know, it's just just bringing people on here that yeah. they can give flowers to people he lo- they love. He could have brought anybody, and yeah. he brought you. And you. Which, it's, yeah, it's, it's funny because, you know, Vinny is a comedian and kind of built for the podcasting world, and I'm a film editor who sits behind a computer screen all day, and, you know, talking is not really my strong suit. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's kind of like an epitome of the actual podcast. We're two very different people, but close friends mm. doing this. And, you know, we have guests who come on who could be, you know, a, a scientist and bring like their baby sister as their guest. If they oh, wanted yeah. to. Like so many different things are possible and it's, it's really awesome. And, He's yeah. also the smarter one. So he kind of <laughs> reels it in when I'm fucking up. <laughs> I, I ground, I ground him. You know, he I'm does the ground me. <laughs> we, we also did a clubhouse rooms together for a while. Yeah. So, like when that was a thing. You remember those days, oh, John. Yeah. <laughs> So that was that's yeah. where it all the, the wow, magic started. Really? We were just like fuck yeah. For a small small world talk, you know, that's where Johnny and I like reconnected. I think yeah, in our true. in our older years, it's um, true. more adult lives. Yeah, but this is the fun part because he does have like a really goofy, fun personality. Like he's got characters mm-hmm. and voices, and he can do all this shit do that voices, he doesn't get to yeah. showcase when he. Whoa, edit, do a voice, it. dude! He really does. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, you can't showcase. Okay, if, if I do a voice, then I'll do something with you. Yeah, you have oh. to do something. Okay, sure. I'll, I'll do a one of my signatures, which is like an old person. I have like a few different old people okay, voices. Yeah. Okay. Um, let me figure out which one I want to do. Uh, I don't, give me, give me like a topic or something. F- feed me global a, warming. I was about to say global warming. <laughs> Wait, Wait, no, I was a. <laughs> About to say that. Okay. That's very, very weird. And I'm not, this is okay. not, I was like, it was like, I'm going to be like, fuck it, I guess Got global it on warming, the old people. Like, wow, you right, connected. It, that was so weird. Before I, before I do this, I will say I did one semester of theater and I stopped because performing makes me so nervous. And I know I'm in front of peers right now, but like my brain is like connecting the neural oh, paths. Like, so this low. is performing. Are so if, yeah, by the way, it's your podcast. If you don't like this, you can cut it out. I know, yeah, I know. Um, Okay, I'm I'm just gonna let it go and then it'll develop into what it's supposed yeah. to be. Okay, um, no, hold on. <laughs> I'm, take, I'm taking the headphones off. It already. I'm taking the headphones. Off. I already yeah. liked it. Yeah. Back in my day, we didn't have global warming. <laughs> if you're worried about the Earth getting warm, just turn off your heaters, you idiots. I like this. Oh yeah. my god, you sound like my grandpa. Uh, <laughs> Mima, Mima, I haven't talked to my Mima in ages. Granted, she is dead. <laughs> Yes. Who are you talking to, Howard? <laughs> oh, don't worry about it. I'm just over here. See, I'm okay, trying to he's the old British yeah. person now. Now he's done. No, it sounded like he's a done. Simpsons character. I know. It? That could have squeezed right into animation. I don't know. I take like the headphones off when I, I do it because like when I hear my voice when I'm doing voices, I it went trips somewhere. me up. It you, took me somewhere. Yeah, yeah I, did t- I did. I believed yeah. it. Oh. it? Me, man, peepa. Me, man, peepa. Me, man, things. Me, man, Back in my day, we used to buy bread for a nickel. Back in my day, we made our own bread. Yeah. Now it's all made in labs. Comic, comic I came up with said he used to go, he used to go, 
my grandpa used to go, back in my day, we used to buy uh, bread for a nickel. And he goes, yeah, well, why don't you buy a shitload and freeze it, grandpa? <laughs> <laughs> wow. I love that. Damn. That's a bit that I feel like I wouldn't laugh at, but I'd it's pocket fun. it. It's yeah. later. Yeah. forever <laughs> going. And, and I'd be he like, goes, we could have I so much that. bread right now. Yeah. I'm like, that's a yeah. good idea. I, yeah, I do, I I do old buy people. a bunch of bread. I do old people voices. Uh, I lo- love Big Mouth, so I do some mm. of those impressions, like Lola and the, Big Mouth. Oh, yeah. yes. oh, oh my God, Mouth. Andrew. Oh, that was good. <laughs> thank yeah. you. Thank you. And Hormone Monster. Whoa. Yeah. I can't um, do, you know, for, for a thank you. quote unquote actor, I can't do that. A lot of voices. Of yeah. 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 Johnny. Uh, <laughs> on a podcast. Uh, he, do, he does all these in the shower. <laughs> I practice every morning. <laughs> so you do in the shower? <laughs> I, if you don't work there. the voices, yeah. they're hard to do. I, well, used to I, be I, to... I haven't done the old people voices in forever. Yeah. And, when you, you know, we've been on a little bit of a hiatus here, so I haven't had to like dude. do them recently. So we're going to do a, a little voice. I'm going to try to get a voiceover actor to come on with us. And that's oh, yeah. all we do. You know, he yeah. knows a bunch of them. Yeah. Like yeah. The both, yeah. 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 I, I, with the old people voices, I used to do like a thing where it was like they're in a retirement home and they're all just kind of talking to each other. But it was like oh. a one man show where oh, I was I like, fun. yeah, Ooh, I love that. Yeah. I used to have, I used to get a decent amount of voiceover auditions because I kind of have like a naturally high voice, like, mm. a, like a little mm. kid voice. But then um, my balls dropped. <laughs> oh, fuck. I'm still waiting. Life back. happened. Sucks. Still waiting. Yeah, it still hasn't happened for him. As you can tell, no. his voice cracks a little bit here and there. So <laughs> he's mine th- dropped to my feet. He's I'm sitting Whoa. on my balls. <laughs> That's why Sandler wears those shorts, by the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, it's a very God. uncomfortable work environment on workout oh, days. God. You don't want to be there. Oh, well, guys, we should wrap it up. Uh, look, you guys are fucking awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming on. I'm really Thank excited you. about your show. I got something new to watch. Heck yeah. We're Unstable. Watch it. We're going to watch it. Can I plug uh, it? I was just going to say, anything you guys have coming up, plug your socials, plug your projects, whatever you want. All right. I'll do the- The floor the, is yours. The main plug. Unstable is currently streaming on Netflix. It's very funny. If you don't think it's funny, watch it and then DM me and we'll fight about why it's not funny. <laughs> he gets Amazing. 40 Have DMs. you done that? I, I do read- Way too many comments about the show. So if yeah. that is your thing, just know I'll probably read whatever you say on Twitter or Instagram. So it will be seen. Get at me. Yeah. By anything Rachel on your end, Rachel? I have a show called Unstable. Oh, wow. Out, oh, never heard of it. Uh, on, on Netflix. Wow. Also never heard of it. It's very funny. And I don't know. You guys have any socials or anything you want to plug there? I'm on Instagram. Hell yeah. yeah. I've heard of it. <laughs> Fuck. That's awesome. Rachel Marsh. Rachel Marsh. Rachel, Rachel, Rachel Marsh. That's it. That's it. What's your Instagram and stuff? I'm on Be Real. <laughs> um, I'm on Instagram. I think it's Johnny Low. I think. I th- Let's fact check this real quick. I think it's Johnny Low. I think it's Johnny Low. Uh, <laughs> that's a good, honestly, that's a good, yeah, good Instagram. Good. Yeah, change, change it, man. Yeah. Change yeah, it. It. You it's guys uh, are fucking. At Johnny Low it's on at, Instagram. At Johnny Low. At Johnny Low. Yeah. <laughs> I post like so much <laughs> stupid stuff. <laughs> or you, you got you. I mean, look, guys, you got to follow for me. You get a new fan. I'm a huge fan. So. Love you guys. Thank you so much yes, for coming thank on. You guys. Yeah. I appreciate yes. it. Everybody, tune in to my plus one. Continue to come back. Thank you so much. Good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs> <laughs>